Hi, so what I have here is on my left here is the Samsung CU 7058 inch monitor and right here is my 15 inch 1080p um, uh, laptop here. So this here is in 4K and I wanted to give you a sense of how it would look if you were going to use this as a computer monitor or in some cases as a you know secondary computer monitor so you could see here I have YouTube up and both of them have the same um, I want to say ratio so so obviously if I zoom in here this is in full screen so this is the uh, YouTube channel with four tiles across so you could see the four previews across and right here on the TV you could also see the four previews across so basically this the size of this um, browser is kinda like the same screen as this particular one however with the 4k monitor and specifically this 58 inch monitor, you could see that's one quarter the size of the screen real estate itself. So what I'm trying to say is that this TV at 4K can fit four of these full screen uh, displays that are on the laptop, um, if, if uh, you get what I mean by that. So um, basically you have four times the screen real estate on a 4K. Now specifically, this is a 58 inch monitor. And so what that gives you is the clarity. So you can see there's no smudging. It just looks like a normal monitor, even though it's kind of hard to do work on this. So what I mean by that is because the screen is so wide, you don't, your field of vision is all over the place. You know, you can't just send it your, your field of vision is usually very narrow. It's not, you know, four feet across or four and a half feet across like this. So um, you could only really focus on basically one area of the screen uh, instead of like looking up, you know, looking over, you know, looking down, looking this way. So, so um, however, I do think, you know, what it does give you is all of this other free space where you can look around for data and information. So, for example, if you had documentation on this side of the screen and then you're working on that side of the screen, this would actually work very well. You know, and so you, if you're, you know, working in your living room and you have your laptop here, you know, hooked up, um, then you, you could just use this as... Um, kind of like a one-size-fits-all you know you don't you might not need separate working monitors um, but this is more of a uh, kind of what would you call it like a offshoot of the 4k which has you know just more pixels and so it has this finer granularity here that makes the lettering very clear so you can see there's no smudging, there's no distortion with the kind of uh, fonts. And the other thing I want to show you is, is even just going to, you know, some of the code. So, so if you're a developer or a programmer, you'll see here I have, you know, these screens kind of like uh, in the middle here. So normally, this code screen which fits 32 lines of code uh, would be that big and if I zoom out you could see how much more room there is you know for that screen so let let me open up another screen and I could actually show you what I mean here so so for example here here is the full size screen of that of this particular window on the 5k so if I actually um, you know, just open this up. You, you can see the, the lines of code here is over 100 lines of code. So I could fit over 100 lines of code here. And, and this is not scaled. This is kind of the full 100, uh, let's see, aspects, as, aspect ratio, a, aspect scaling. 
So I wanted to give you a sense of what it looks like. Like so. And also just the icons. You, you could see the Windows icons here. You know, they're, they're a lot bigger than what I have right here on my laptop, my 15-inch laptop here. So if you're screencasting while you're programming, you know, you, you could just see how beneficial it is. Um, now, the other thing I also wanted to show is, all right, let me lower this. So if I lower this, and, and expand this, this out. So I'm going to expand out this, um, what do you call it? this uh, browser here, to full screen. So, <laughs> so now you could see, you know, instead of four tiles, I have... One, one, two, three, four, five, six tiles. And let me try to, let me try to minimize this and minimizing it, you know, back to the four tiles. And then let me go back here and zoom out and maximize this again. So you can see. Like so. And if I pull back, you, you could see this comparison of this versus that of the laptop. Now, once again, I want to zoom in and show you the fonts, the font sizes. The font sizes are very readable, uh, even um, uh, three feet away. You know, totally readable. And now let me go down and I do want to open this up, the display settings. And let me move this over so you can see the display settings on this particular screen. And what I mean by the scale, see the scale and layout, it's at 100% in landscape. Now if I do the display scaling and I do it at 125%, you see how it becomes a lot more readable. And then the fonts are also bigger. So let, let me change this back to 100% so you could see the difference. So that's 100%. And um, let me go back and do the 125% on the icons. So this is 125%. And then I'm going to do 150%. On top of that, 150%. And then just, just to show you the fonts here, when I do 150%, so this is 150%, this is 125%, and then this is 100%. So let me just zoom back and also um, I should move one of the browsers over. So this here is the, so let me do the display scaling so you could see how it looks. So let me just zoom out. So, so this is how it looks right now at 100%. And I am now going to... So I'm just trying to 
So if you're wondering why it's taking so long, I'm trying to find the cursor as I'm doing the video. So I'm gonna do 125%, and you can see how much bigger that got at 125%, just the fonts. And then now at 150%, Hundred fifty percent. So let me do that again. Let me zoom back in so it looks actually let me try to do it from this vantage point so you could see a change. So so this is a hundred fifty percent. This is a hundred twenty five percent. And once again, this is on a 58 inch Samsung TV. And then this is at 100%. So that's how it looks when it's doing display scaling. But I, re I really just wanna say that the 100% is sufficient. And this might be true even for like a 55 inch. So once again, I want to concentrate on the fonts and the readability of this. So maybe if I pull up one of the new sites for the text. So I showed you like a programming example. Um, now this is, this is for the new sites. So you could see it's pretty, pretty, the fonts are pretty readable like that and now I'm gonna pull up the display scaling again and I'm gonna do 125 percent and you can see that difference at 125 percent and then at 150 percent see that difference at 150 percent so there you go that's really what I wanted to show as far as the uh, 58 inch monitor so there you go that's what I wanted to show as far as the uh, 58 inch television displaying uh, basically laptop and uh, you know computer screens as a, as a computer screen so I really also actually let, let me put this screen on there so you can see it display at like a hundred fifty percent so so this here is at 150%. So, so let me widen this. And you could see at 150%, it's displaying, you know, 56 lines here, even though there is only 56 lines. Um, but let, let, me, let me do the same demo here. So this is 150%, right? And um, I'm gonna do 100, 20% display scaling and then just a uh, hundred percent so this is going to be a hundred percent and I'm about four feet away and I could still read the fonts pretty easily so that's really the, and let me zoom in here. And maybe I, uh, sorry, sorry about the glare there. Try to get rid of the glare here. And I'm gonna do this demo. So you can see 125%. And then 150%.
So that's the difference between the size of the fonts. Um, so I think that's it. That's really what I wanted to show actually on the uh, usage of a Samsung, you know, 58 inch television as a monitor. And I hope this helps and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.